good morning from the 14th park of our Europe road trip. Today we're here at Tripstrel in Germany. I've been at this park since 2020 and I love it here, so I'm so excited to be back. Yeah, three years since our last visit and we're really looking forward to it. Thanks to Tripstrel for providing us with our mission today and also allowing us to film on ride. Yeah, really excited to get some nice updated POVs for you all on this lovely sunny morning. Let's go and get in the park. And as soon as you walk into the park here, you're greeted by all of these beautiful German buildings. They are gorgeous, very heavily detailed. Someone's got the washing hanging up just here as well. And yeah, we love this park. It's got a really nice quaint charm about it. Lots of awesome roller coasters and other rides here, including some unique attractions like this down here at the bottom as well. Oh, I love it. It's great here. Oh, and looks like we've got some massive pumpkins here at Tripstrel as well. Look at the size of these. They're stunning. And yeah, we've got some lovely autumnal displays throughout the park. Look at this. Very nice sweet corn on there, all the hail bales. Really nice. And yeah, the windmill just here. There's actually a slide that comes down from there. Oh, it's great to be back. Look at all the sweet corn hanging up. And we're going to be starting off our day with a ride on the park's Vekoma Suspended Thrill Coaster that opened back in 2020. It's Hell's Uberkopf just here. And yeah, when we was last at this park three years ago, uh, they actually opened these coasters without the theming being finished. Uh, so it's going to be nice to see it complete. With how good it looks around here, it looks like they're brand new. Yeah, like you got one thing they're even three years old, would you? Fantastic. Yeah, there was hardly any landscaping around when we came. A lot of, like the rocks down in the tunnels were just concrete. They made the decision basically to open the coaster uh, with out the theming because they just wanted to get it open in 2020 which is completely understandable um so yeah when we came the station was just like a concrete box and yeah here's the entrance to hal's uber cough just here kind of translates to head over heels i believe and yeah this is one of those for comb suspended thrill coasters and yeah we're at uh, tato park or now emerald park in ireland they're building these two rides at the moment and they're going to be opening next year and so yeah looking forward to getting back on this hopefully it's warmed up a bit from last time we were here you know i remember us thinking it was a little bit less forceful than we we're expecting look at the building really nice oh this is really nice in here completely different to when it first opened without the theme in Lots of details, that's the thing here at Trips Drill, we like doing things of a very good quality. We're going right on the front. And we've got a dispatch here on the front row, we only had to wait one cycle. What they've done with the station is of very high quality. Audio with the lift still on dispatch. It's great to be able to bring you along with the POV, the location of this park. It's pretty spectacular as well. Gorgeous scenery. Look at the building up there on top of the hill. And this has got three inversions, nice comfortable lap bars. Here we go. Woo. Oh. It's not over bank. And very enjoyable. I'd say that was riding better than it was three years ago. Warmed up nice. Enjoyed getting back on Hal Zubakov there and on the front row as well was excellent. It was certainly more forceful than what I remembered actually. It was. When we came in 2020, I can remember we wasn't too keen. That is riding so well. It is so comfortable. The new generation of Vekoma coasters are a massive step up from the old days like the boomerangs and the sit-down looping coasters. The train design is really comfortable and what they've done with the overall package on there is great. All the theming and the interaction with the family boomerang as well through the station there. Uh, it looks great. It really does. And we'll head on that next we have a highlight of that ride has got to be that final inversion um, really good and some of the near misses that you get and um, with all the rocks around as well fantastic coaster oh, i love this interaction between the two coasters and that's the thing for coma salvies as a package deal you know hence why they're coming to emerald park in ireland the two same coaster models it's just really nice how they're designed and intertwined together see how we're going to get on this now here it comes again <laughs> 
Look at him on the back of the train. <laughs> and here's the entrance to Voldamp. Kind of means full steam ahead in English. And yeah, there's some theming around here as well. It's been added since we're here. This is nice. Look at all these little details. Let's go. And here we go, climbing up the lift hill. Oh, that is why these rides are even better when they're sold as a package for moments like that. Beautiful. Oh, the location of this park is stunning. It really is. It does remind me like a mini Europa park, this place. It's got such a charm about it. Here we go. Woo! We thought we'd come at the back instead of the front. Whoa, whippersnapper. Yeah, you wouldn't see a lot of the front because of the train engine. Wow. All this landscape is grown. Oh, inside the station. I uh, <laughs> oh, it's busier in there now. Oh, I love that. Way intertwining with the trees, the rocks, the other coaster. What a package. Oh, that was really good fun. And back here into the lovely glass train station. Oh, that was nice. And yeah, it actually uh, fills up with smoke in the front as well, which is pretty cool. Comes out the chimney. That was really good fun, especially the back of the train. And yeah, the interaction with the suspended thrill coaster really made that there as well. But yeah, I love this area, how they finished it off now. It really does look great. And yeah, I can understand why they owned it in 2020. However, I'm so pleased with seeing the uh, finished result just here now. Right next door, you got these pretty crazy drop towers, haven't you here? I love these. I cannot wait to get back on them. Yes, yeah, so it actually jolts you forward, doesn't it? It's so much fun. <laughs> it's pretty scary as well, actually. But look at them, they're like big trees. And yeah, it's really well themed, this park. Oh, here we go, climbing up. What a cracking view, <laughs> looking <Yeah>. over. <laughs> so it starts off quite slow. You think, oh, there's not much to this, it's you know. It's a normal drop tower. <laughs> and then it just gets going, doesn't it? Oh, it's to the top. This is nice, I bet you could live in there. Oh. Back down we come, on like a massive vlog, uh, <laughs> like a big tree house up here. Oh, all the way to the top, way. scary. It is, it wobbles quite a lot, doesn't it? It's, it wobbles loads. Oh, here we go. It's like you're actually on a, a, a tree trunk, you know, look. Oh my God, that jump! <laughs> is that jolt forward? It's terrifying, that is. That is brilliant, that is. Oh, it's one of the scariest moments on a drop tower, that is. That massive jolt forward. <laughs> did you enjoy that there, Charlotte? I really enjoyed that. I did feel like it was a little bit shaky, but that drop is just so much fun. When it goes forward, it's ridiculous. Oh, it is. It's quite scary. But we've got something quite special for you now. Look at the size of this pumpkin. It's the biggest pumpkin wow. we've ever seen. Like, that is incredible like it's got some weights over here does that mean 200 kilograms is it there maybe yeah, like, that is crazy and it's this lovely display wow. very impressed with all the displays around the park for halloween look at all the blood running out of that there it's really nice quite classy tasteful displays the pumpkin. like that is insane like wow. amazing <laughs> time for our next ride then here at trips trail and yeah that's gonna be Caracho just here. I still don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, probably not. I always struggle with pronunciation of some of the rides over here, but I love coming to see these parks. And this is a 2013 Gersla Infinity Coaster uh, with a launch, it's got four inversions, and also it's got these lovely Infinity lap bar trains as well. I remember, I love this last time. I actually bought the lunchbox. It's a really good <laughs> ride. Charlie got the lunchbox, hey, there it goes. Let's uh, go and take you all on this. These displays are beautiful around the park. And yeah, here's the entrance. It's got a really nice theme queue line and a soundtrack by I'm a score of Germany. Let's go. It's pretty dark down there, so I don't know how well you can see it, but you've got a piece of track and then a model of the train, which is awesome. Let's go and ride. Oh, I love the lights on the back of the train for this one as well. And then we start off with this nice scene inside. Pretty dark, very atmospheric. And yeah, the launch on this is pretty awesome. Here we go. Whee! First inversion in the dark. Get ready for it. Here we go. Woo! 
<laughs> Woo! What a view! Oh, lovely and smooth for a ghost line. Great! Oh, what a great ride this. Really nice. Woo! I love this Infinity style of train design. Really good. Whee! Look at that tunnel. Woo! Oh, there we go. Really good fun ride and very smooth as well. And yeah, I love the restraints here. They are great much better than over the shoulders. Just shows you don't need 14 inversions to make a good girl flower. This is way better than the smiler for me. That coaster is excellent. It's got a 55.9 mile an hour launch. And yeah, that indoor inversion just catch you off guard as well. I forgot about the indoor inversion, <laughs> but that launch on there is brilliant. It's so snappy. Do you find it quite a smooth coaster? Yeah, I find it quite smooth. Nice and comfortable as well with the black box. Oh, it is. Yeah, I really do like that train design on the Gersai Infinity coaster. That's how all Infinity coasters should be, not Definitely. with the over the shoulder restraints. Uh, really nice ride that, the four inversions. And yeah, just an overall fantastic experience with the lighting as well. I can't believe it, an hour ago when we came into the park, it started off a lovely sunny day, blue skies. We thought, oh, it's going to be lovely. It's just started raining. It's got raining until 10 o'clock tonight. Oh, well, the park shuts at five anyway, but uh, yeah, it's going to be raining for the afternoon. But you know what, at least you got some rides in before getting wet this morning. And you've probably just heard it roaring around in the background. We're going to go on Mammoth now, which is the wooden roller coaster. I have to say, this is one of the weaker wooden coasters for me out there. Not a big fan of this. Uh, it just doesn't ride that good in my opinion. However, it's still a nice family ride here at the park. At least you have got a wooden coaster. As you can see, they've got a little bit more colourful theming around here. They do have a Halloween event. It's not running today. As you can see, it's a super off-peak day. Um, but yeah, they do have a thrill Halloween event here at the park. Maybe at some point in the future, we'll come and see it. Yeah, it looks like a freak show kind of scare zone down to the left hand side here. Yeah, let's go and ride it. It's Mammoth. Lots of theming to see around the whole park. We're yeah, in the queue lines. We make a real effort to make them nice areas to wait in. Yeah, look at all this. We've got some figures. We've got some log chopping going on just down here. All right, let's go and ride on Mammoth. Well, here's a real high roller, as it said in the paper. Look at this guy he actually roller skated around this coaster. Like, how amazing is that? Like, it'd be pretty terrifying, wouldn't it, doing that? Yeah, it would. <laughs> would you want to do it, Charlotte? I don't think I would, you know. <laughs> Look at that. Crazy, the roller skater. Oh, and we're down here on the front rows. Yeah, this coaster was built by old German companies. Fun fact for you. Gerstler built the trains. Hey, look at this. Yeah, they used a lot of like, local companies to build the actual wooden coaster itself. This is awesome in here. Luckily, it's stopped raining for the ride. Already on the lift still. What a location, though, for a park. Hey, all the smoke down there in the tunnel. Oh, I say it's stopped raining. I'm feeling droplets again. Yeah, look at that building up on the hill over there. It's so cute. <laughs> Let's go, why drop? I'm not a huge lover of that. Oh, it looks like you saw quite a bit of on the POV. In with the rain. <laughs> Wait, 
front row ride there on Mammoth. And yeah, it's very strange that because it does shake side to side. It's not rough, but it just doesn't feel like a wooden coaster. It's really weird. It feels smooth on the tracks, but the actual train just shakes from side to side. It was built by Gerstler though, yeah. the train. <laughs> um, yeah, like I say, it's very unique. It's the only wooden coaster in the world to be fully built by German companies, which I do appreciate they did something different. Um, but yeah, I don't think it rides that good in my opinion. I do like that drop though down into the tunnel with the smoke, uh, which was great. And I'm glad we managed to see quite a bit in the POV there uh, because the rain now is coming down pretty hard here at Tripstroll. It's not going to stop the fun though. Up next, it's time for our fifth roller coaster of the day out of the six they've got on offer here at Trips Trill. And I'm really all on our pronunciation with this one. You're all probably going to laugh at me, but I will try. Gacenta Sal, I think it's probably called. I really don't know. I tried, Charlotte, I tried. You're trying your best, that's all that matters. <laughs> I can give you some facts, though. This is a Gerstler bobsled coaster and opened in 1998. And here's a great fun fact for you. This was the first ever roller coaster to be built by Gerstler. This is where it all started. And we've got a dispatch. I'm not too sure how this is going to go. It looks like the rain's got quite heavy now. We'll make the most of it. It's not too cold today, though, which is good. I love a good Gerst out of Bob's side. And yeah, the first one, the first ever coaster we built by Gerst. Why not? this weather shot. Oh, I know. <laughs> We've had a mix of weather this trip. You got to think, we are in nearly in November, though, aren't we? Oh, uh, I think that's because we've been to a lot of hot places this year. So we feel the cold more when we're in the cold ones. Wow. Boy, it's like we're sitting in Santa's sleigh on this. Look at this. And yeah, it kind of translates to the name, like fast driver in English. Look at this part though, it is lovely. It's even more lovely on a sunny day, but whee! I like how you're getting around all the buildings. And you've actually got a log flume in here with bathtubs. Yeah, I believe that inspired the flume back at Alton Towers. This is a nice design, this. Hey, Helix, Helix, Helix. Woo! Oh, Santa Slay. <laughs> it's all right for me because I'm wearing glasses, like, protects my eyes to the rain. <laughs> oh, you get your sunglasses on, even if it's not sunny if you want. That's what you normally do. No, I can't wear them now. Hey, another Helix. Helix. Woo! This is great. One of the best as well. Really good fun coaster. There we go, there's Santa's sleigh. Oh, sorry for the wet pub, guys. Oh, that was really good fun. Of course, we did get quite wet on there with the rain, but I love the layouts and it looks so pretty. Uh, look at the buildings here and then the coaster going round. You can just see the shower going by at the top there. And that's from the log flume. And yeah, we're going on that next. So should I say the bath flume? But yeah, I think that's a really good fun coaster. Do you enjoy that? see anything <laughs> on that attraction. I couldn't see nothing. <laughs> the poncho has arrived out. Pleasure being here. Hey, <laughs> fantastic. fantastic poncho. Right, ready for our ride over here on the flume ride. We may as well do it. I mean, let's make the most of it. So Hello. Hello, how are you doing? Theme Park Worldwide on YouTube. Hello. Hiya. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Hello. Hello. Oh my God, how many have missed it? Hello. Hey, oh God, have a good day. <laughs> I just wanted to show you this view. Look at the building up there with the coaster. How awesome does that look? Yeah, they were amazed at the GoPro. I don't think they'd seen one before when we was in Mammoth's queue. Oh, be careful, Charlotte. You're going to walk off into the water. No. <laughs> yeah, they paint these on the floor. Really cool photo opportunities. How awesome is that? <laughs> it tells you where to stand to get the best shot. And there's a look. At the flu, whoa, what are you doing? Ruining the illusion there. Right, I've got my waterproof trousers oh, on. God. We're going for it. Let's go and ride. So many lovely Halloween displays throughout the park. And someone's left the lunch down here as well. Like, here we go. We got anything good in there? You got some cobs, Charlotte? Can kind of if you want. Left the lunch I don't know. I can't see anybody about. I said give it back to them, but someone's left the lunch, Charlotte. Oh, they're going to be disappointed. They'll have to have a breakfast instead. Uh, here's a look at the entrance to Jung Brunnen. And there's the bath. I'm glad we're going on this. I've not had a shower all trip, so yeah, this will be perfect. <laughs> hey, I'm joking. Or am I? This brings back good memories of the flume at Alton Towers. Of course, where Wicker Man stands to this day. It is a shame that they took out the flume at Alton Towers. I did used to like it a lot. Wicker Man is a great addition though, but yeah, I do miss having a log flume. And yeah, the bath's just a really nice ride, this is. It's got quite a funny dark ride scene. <laughs> to make our way round on this lovely day here at Tripstrill in Germany. Shame the weather's a bit naff today, but we always make the most of it. There's the Gerstler Bob. 
good waterproof trousers. These are a good investment. I've not got my waterproof sketches on today. I should have had them on really. I did it in Europa yesterday. Check out those vlogs if you haven't already seen them. Here we go, first drop. Just a small one. Whee! Yeah, well, there's only been two of us in the boat. I can't see us getting that wet on here. Famous last words as we enter into the dark ride scene. I'm warning you now about what you're about to see. She can do it covering up over there. <laughs> it's a scary sight. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, another lift out. The experience continues with a backwards drop. There we go. I'm surprised Charlotte sat in the back, but she did. Oh! <laughs> How are we? My poncho went right up in the air. I didn't know there was a backwards drop. Oh, I did wonder why you sat in the back there. Yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> you don't remember? Yeah. I think you've only been here once, aren't you, actually, Charlotte? Now it's been back here again. Would have been better if the sun was shining. But still, we've got another coaster to ride. We've got the rapids coming up. Might as well give them a go. Like I said, it's not really cold today, though, which is good. Oh. I like how much of this ride is hidden away. It's one of them you can only really see the main drop. Yeah, them dark ride scenes are funny. Up the lift hill we go. See at the top. Whee! Top of the lift. Oh, what a great view, the Gers Bob. Do you like how I just keep calling it the Gers Bob instead of its actual name? Because I don't have a clue how to say it. <laughs> mammoth just over there. That isn't based on a woolly mammoth either. It's based on like a local German redwood tree, I believe. A mammoth tree. Into the main drop. This building is stunning. I love the design of it. Really nice. Reminds me like something out of Planet Coaster. Lots of details. Let's get ready for that bath. I need it. Here we go. Whee! Oh! <laughs> oh, pretty dry there. Pretty dry. Yeah, these great investment for these rainy days. If you're going to the theme parks this time of year, get yourself some waterproof trousers. That was good. Nice ride. Really like that flume. I think the fact it's got the small drop, the dark ride scene, the backwards drop, and then the big one at the end is great. And also, I just love the building around it and the interaction uh, with the coaster. Great little family area that is, and beautifully themed. Some weird stuff going on in that dark ride scene though. Very weird. Anyway, we're going on the rapids in just a moment, but first, I'm gonna try and just pick up this pumpkin because it's massive. <laughs> Uh, unless you've not rehearsed this or anything, I've just got my gloves off. There's no way he's going to do it. Am I strong enough? Oh! That is... That is heavy. <laughs> oh! There you go. Is I that it? it? That's it. Oh, I've done my back in now. Let's go on the rapids. Like, what was that? He didn't even lift it in the air. Look at this waterfall package over here. Ready to go through that. Let's go and ride. <laughs> Look at Charlotte all sat up there. With a poncho on. <laughs> You're taking up all three seats over there. No, Luckily, we've got on it on our own. I mean, there's hardly anybody about. Really quiet day here at Tripstrill. This is a nice one where the trough is actually themed around the side as well. Which I do like. Oh! <laughs> the good thing is another one where it's got these gaps so the water kind of fills in through the middle. But like Charlotte said previously, just kind of break up the wave a little bit to stop it coming over the side. I think he's got a whirlpool this one, hasn't it, from what I remember? Sure. Yeah, I believe so. I think it's a bit like River Quest at Fantasyland. It's got a big whirlpool coming up. Here we go. Oh, you're getting some now. Hey! <laughs> Rapids. A little bit more Halloween theming up there. Looks like they've got quite a few scare attractions here, actually. Yeah, I can't really imagine coming to somewhere like this for Halloween. But yeah, they do have a, a thrill Halloween event. And I say that, obviously, we love all the decor throughout the day, like all the pumpkins and hay bales. Really nice. Looks the part. Here we go. Coming in. Oh! Right down through the middle. <laughs> yeah, they do. It's got quite a fast current about it, this one. This is better than the one at uh, Wallaby Holland. We did one like this there, didn't we? Yeah, this is better than that. 
Oh no, I should have put the water through shoes on. Oh, it's choppy seas ahead. No, I can't see. <laughs> choppy, choppy, choppy. I just know I've got a wet sock. <laughs> Is this the whirlpool around here? No, maybe I was imagining it. I could have sworn it had a big whirlpool on it, this one, but. I don't know, we've done that many rides now. I know. Like, done that many rides. It's been a busy year. Busy year. Oh, look at that bear there. And the baby bear next to him as well. What a lovely little scene there. Oh. We make our way here. The big waterfalls. <laughs> you I can't, can't see them. These look nice. I like how they got all the rocks around the side. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's gonna get me. Oh! Even on a wet day, we gotta give the water rides a go, especially with us not coming for a few years. Is it? Oh god. Really choppy? Yeah. What? Is it gonna get me? Yeah. When? Oh! It did, it did. Into the tunnel. Quite a long ride, isn't it? Misty tunnel. A little bit of theming in here would have been nice. Bit of a missed opportunity, but at least we got some sprayers. <laughs> I use that joke too much. It's a long ride. Here we go, this is the whirlpool. Yeah, this is it. Around here, there's the whirlpool in the middle. And it kind of sends you around this. It's not fully like River Quest, but like whirlpool around here at the side. I'm missing it all, I can't see it. <laughs> there it is, just in the middle. And that brings us round to the end of the ride. More massive pumpkins. We just did our ride on the rapids there. Didn't really get that wet at all, really. Well, yeah, I've got a big poncho on. I have, yes, and this is all rainwater on here. <laughs> it's one of them, though, as well, where if you've got a full boat, you're going to get more, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, there's only two of us. Yeah, not a bad little rapids there, that. Quite well themed. I like how all the trough was decorated around at the side. And yeah, talking to Fema, and you've got this lovely car ride just here. We're basically going back on Agri's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. Yay! Hey, do you want the motorbike or the sidecar? <laughs> Let's go and ride. I like the big chimney in the middle. Hey, we decided both to have motorbikes on here because there's no queue. We thought we may as well. Look at Funshine just popping up on the back of Charlotte there. <laughs> you know, with the easy way for them to get a bit of momentum. And yeah, you just turn this, hey! And we get going out just there, that's it. Pretty good family rides, these. Nice fat rides. Like the little lighting down here, tidy the speed. Hey! You got the brake on this side quite good fun. You can get them going quite high actually. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> yeah, they're pretty good these. Nice family rides. It's very well themed flat as well. Really good fun little flight ride that is. And again, it's a full themed experience, which I do really like. Right, Charlotte's gonna walk through this over here now. Oh, it's not. <laughs> I thought, oh, there we go, just round the edge. Yeah, there's no jets there. <laughs> we here got this water feature. This is new actually since last time we're here at the park. Still going. Oh, oh, you nearly got it then. Yeah, look at this, very well themed. Yeah, fits with this overall area of the park. Kind of a bit of a steampunk theme going on. I like the music as well and the lights and just like a little splash pad. Here she comes. <laughs> you did, yeah, round the edge of it. Yeah, yeah. I still walk through it there. Oh, well, we've got loads more rides to check out this afternoon here at Trips Trail. We have a beautiful view looking out over the infinity coaster there. Caracho. And we've got another nice Halloween display just over here. Yeah, look at him there fixing his tractor. He's got his bonnet up. That's very creative. I like that. And of course, you've got these two over here. Is one a witch and one a ghost maybe? I'm not too sure, but I like it. Married. Oh, they're getting married? Yeah, because she's in white. You think so? And that's oh, his, he's, his, got a top hat. he's got his posh hat on. Yeah, maybe you're right. They could be getting married. Seen some more off ride footage there from Caracho. Yeah, just come around the corner and uh, yeah, we got a little animatronic show going on. 
I don't really know what's happening, but it reminds me of a German version of the Carousel of Progress in Magic Kingdom. I think she's maybe getting ready to get married, possibly to that man who's just walked in with the flowers. And he did just walk in as well. I like how he kind of slid forward. Maybe she doesn't want to marry him. Oh, and now they're playing a song. Wait, he's breaking into song. Oh, there he is, and out of the back. He's like, I'll marry you if not. <laughs> more lovely displays around the park. We've seen more pumpkins than ever this trip. You, know, you have got quite a few flat rides here as well. And yeah, we're going to take you on these. Undercover as well, which is good. You know what's nice about this? You see in the middle there, you've got the hill and that building. Yeah, that's the big building that you can see near the park as well, which is quite cool. And yeah, you can see that in the middle. Let's go on. Hey, here we go. Builds up quite a bit of speed there. Fast one for you, Charlotte. <laughs> Your ponytail's going everywhere. <laughs> I don't know why you signed a parachute. Something to do with that building, I think. That's nearby. Hey, I'm sure I have this conversation every time we come. Quite fast this is. Yeah, it's a great job for the operators here because a lot of them don't have to leave the cabin. She just opens the gate from the cabin. You come and sit in and then yeah, off you go. No rest about, gotta check your own restraint. Happy days if you work here, really nice. Very relaxed job for the staff. There's a girl's last like sky fly around the corner. A way swing out and we've got that other coaster to get on the sixth coaster here, the Zero Tivoli. On the rain seems to have stopped now. Looks like it's possibly brightening up a little bit, which is good. Yeah, it was all right, that was. A little bit uncomfortable on the net, though, isn't it, that? Oh, I really didn't enjoy that. I couldn't wait for it to finish. Oh, quite a long cycle. Yeah, it was hurting my neck. Uh, you get good cycles on the flats here. And yeah, we'll take you on the way swinger just here now. Big toadstool, this one. Big mushroom. Yeah, we're going to have a ride. And yeah, there's the lady over there in the op cabin. Operates this as well. So yeah, she sits in her op cabin. And as you can send either one of the rides. There you go. There ain't no man to sit out on these flat rides because she literally doesn't even have to leave to come and check the harnesses, just do it yourself. It's a good way of saving on staffing costs as well, isn't it, really? They're a lot more trusted over here. I do like it. A lot more kind of common sense with rides. Whee! Like back home, we won't be able to be trusted, but we you know, to check our own restraints. Wait, you get close to the trees. <laughs> They've got lots of rides here at this park. I've always really enjoyed coming to visit Trips Trail. And yeah, I think the fact they've got them two coasters in here now is great. We've got a really good coaster lineup. And it's got that quaint park vibe about it. Like a lot of the German parks. I mean, a lot of parks in mainland Europe have to be honest, but yeah, it's really nice here. It's not commercial at all. It's got a lovely, relaxed feel about it. It's very nice. Quite a few supporting flat rides as well. Great variety of attractions. Still not a dark ride though. That's what they could do within the future. Nice dark ride. Oh, loads of rides in this park. And yeah, I do like how some of the flats have got these big covers over. We'll go on this now. I don't think it spins too fast for you, Charlotte. Oh, It'll be all right. No, I don't remember this from last time. No, like, I don't really. Like, it's been a few years, and that's the thing. We've just done that much. All I know is some nice fresh loaves of bread in the middle there for us. Lovely. Let's go and ride. There's the Zero Tivoli. We've got on that. And the Girls Last Skyfly, which again is beautifully decorated. Let's go and ride. We'll take you on. Yeah, I think that's about as fast it goes, this. Nice family flat ride. And he's cooking some bread. Hey, and here we go. That was the fastest I've ever seen a flat ride load up. Literally about 20 seconds and it was off again. She didn't even have to leave the cabin. And yeah, I think we're sat in a big loaf of bread just there. It looks like it's anyway with this on the front. <laughs> nice big loaf. Not too fast, this one. Very slow. That's the thing. It is a nice family park. Not everything needs to be fast and intense all the time. You know what I made there? Some bread smell pods in the middle. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Or exit into the bread shop instead of the gift shop. Into the bread shop. Yeah, we've got a nice variety of flats all around here. Very quaint, all the nice landscape here. And they just finished off really well at this park. You can tell when they put something in, they do it 100%, which I really like. And we're making our way now onto the sixth and final coaster for us to ride here. I'm sure we'll be re-riding them all though, with it being quiet. 
Look at the little zero Tivoli. Nice little ride this, yeah, like the caterpillar going through the trees just over here. And quite a nice water feature underneath down there as well. Let's go and ride. Love how it fits into the landscape, really nice this one. Oh, we've got some crowd interaction going on in here for Razander Tussenfub. I don't know, I really try. Like, I'd love to speak another language, I really would, but I'm just no good at it. Let's go and ride. Oh, I got a dispatch, don't mess it. Hey. Sold so many of these here out over the years for the great family coasters. Love this one though, it's all in the trees. Same standard layout as most of them, but it's just really good in the trees. Than it before. <laughs> Woo. Hey. Nice over the water feature. Eh? Really good capacity as well. Nice long trains. Yeah, his antennas are wobbling. Shall I like that? Starting to rain again. about in this park. Whoa. Look at how all the branches are kind of growing up the lift hill. What a location. It's like I'm on a behind the scenes tour here, look. Walking around the ride area. Let's go in again. I say this is the exit, the horse gang just underneath here. That's a nice little ride though, that. Can't believe how close you can get to the track. Oh, we've got even more pumpkins just over here. I can't believe how many there is. They are huge. It's almost as many as Europa Park, I think. That oh, uh, is really nice. And yeah, here's one of the best looking flat rides out there in terms of theming. Now, I guess our sky flies are great fun rides. Of course, you can control how many times you go upside down using the little wings on the side and also the levers. But yeah, they don't often look as pretty as this one. I can think of one that looks as good as this, or if not, possibly better. And that was at Family Park in Austria that I did last year, close to Vienna. We had this one's really nice because it's got the water and then also, you got the wonderful fountain package just out the front. How pretty is this? All the little buildings, really nice color scheme. Yeah, this part, they just get the colors right for everything. You know, it's really nice. So yeah, we're gonna have a ride on here, see how many spins that we can get. Not very often you see one of these with empty seats, but I guess that shows how quiet it is today. What a cute little entrance to this one. It's called Honunflug. Yeah, I think that's how it's said. <laughs> Flug, I think I've got that bit right at least. <laughs> Let's make our way in. Walk on. Look at this though, like all the buildings. Very nice. We've got some really nice music in this park too. Just everything's done really well, isn't it? Like, how amazing is this? All this for a flat ride, didn't I mean? We don't often get this for like coaster key lines, let alone a flat ride. Granted, I wouldn't fancy waiting this far back for it, but still, it turns it into a full themed experience. Very nice. Vortex tunnel. Let's go. Right then, we're off. Let's see how we do. I can't feel any wind at all, but the sun is starting to come out again. Imagine if they stayed on, you'd get soaked. 
Let's try and get the momentum going a bit. Could be difficult this. They feel a bit harder these ones to get going. Oh, what a lovely view over this park. There are quite a few tracks rides to get in. Oh no. Oh. I'm on the front as well. Normally it's easier at the front. I'm sure I've always struggled to get this one going. Oh, I nearly got wet feet then. Come on. We're close. Oh. As soon as you get one, it's normally a lot easier. We're nearly there. Come on. Are you going? Hey. Charlotte's on the back side. I just can't get it going today. Oh. Hey. <laughs> you get so close to getting wet. Oh, she's going all right, Charlotte is. I think I sat on the wrong side. Faulty. <laughs> Hey. It looks like it's clearing up a bit for the afternoon. If we continue on, checking out some more of the rides here at Tripstraw. You know what? I'm giving up. I'm just going to look and enjoy the views. You're getting some good spinning there, Charlotte. Oh my God, I'm so dizzy. <laughs> you get a good long cycle on here, though, which is good. Wow. Oh, I'm going to get wet. Hey. Look, I've got a trophy. I've got 23 spins. Sean, you only got two. Oh, well, actually, I didn't even get two. I don't think I got one. But still, that's a nice little feature, that, isn't it? What have we got? 12 at the back, 11. I did not do very well there. But 23. I think it's nice, though. Right? It shows you on here. And then you get, like, a little trophy come up. Well done, Charlotte. Oh, look at this pumpkin man over here. Look at his bottom <laughs> made of pumpkins. <laughs> We've seen that a few times this trip. Up next then, we're going on Vegan Hog Barn here. I think I said that quite well. And yeah, this is the little monorail ride. Yeah, let's go and give this a go. You've also got a cycle monorail next door over there. And here we go, and the good news is, we've got the funny bikes just down there, so we'll give them a go. Feel like, even though it's been raining, that shouldn't be as slippery, because the ones we did the other day at Skyline Park were on like a wooden base. Oh, that was impossible to get them going the other day. I nearly went flying, I did on that. <laughs> so yeah, we'll give these ones a go. They're on a proper floor this time. Nice and relaxing journey through the trees. It is a beautiful part there. So you having a nice day? Oh, really nice day. Yeah, it's beautiful. Quite a funny layout this is. Like, there's track everywhere, look. <laughs> you think, oh, there's multiple tracks? But yeah, look at it. Kind of just go back and forwards yeah. around this same area. Normally when they built these, they go around a bigger area, don't they? Whereas this yeah. one's quite compact. It's going up and down. Yeah, up and down the same sort of area. You don't normally get it like that. Another one where the operator doesn't need to leave his cabin. Be a great like retirement job working here, wouldn't oh, it? All right, really nice. The staff all just chilled out, sat in the cabins in the warm. I like this ride down here, the horse and cart. There it is. <laughs> the horse oh, at the front, yeah. and you got the carriage at the back. Which is, yeah, they've got quite a lot of tracks rides. And you got the nice classic vintage cars down there underneath as well. And they've got some kind of weird spinning barrel rides here. They've got two of them. So yeah, we'll check those out this afternoon as well. And some more quirky attractions on up here at Trip Stroll. Yeah, weather's clearing up all right now this afternoon. Poncho has been packed away. It is in the bag. I might take these waterproof trousers off at some point. We'll see how we you get know on. What will happen, You'll take them off and it'll start raining again. Probably. Yeah, that'll be just my luck. Little frogs just down there. A small fountain show. I like how there's some seats next to it down there as well, so you can sit and relax and enjoy the park and yeah it's not got really got loads of audio and stuff in this park other than like in ride stations and queue lines it's more just a relaxing kind of chill that atmosphere here look at them fish down there massive Ooh, time of the moment you've all been waiting for then the bike's just oh, here so hard, these <laughs> that's right nice ride on the monorail there I get myself there. you should be all right here look you got a nice big area to go around let's see you in action hey that's it she's gone Come round here and we'll see you in action. Where's she gone? <laughs> yeah, you got your pedal monorail just above. Where is she? Hey, oh, I got ran over. Here she comes. <laughs> How is it? It's not good, this. Oh, God. Can you imagine buying a bike like this? Oh. <laughs> Can you imagine buying a bike like this? I don't know, I do quite a bit of cycling, so. Get yourself on one of these then. Well, I will do in a sec, that's it. Oh. 
<laughs> feel like when you get the momentum on these, you're all right. <laughs> That's it, we're off. I think you just got to get the momentum. Oh, we're catching up with Charlotte here. There we go. Yeah, it's really weird. They go up and down. It's my knees that bash on it. Oh, See you later. See you later. <laughs> you want to cycle far on one of these? I know that. Ooh. <laughs> got a little air time hill over here. Should we go for it? That's it, ready? Whoa. Hey. <laughs> I do love fun little quirky things like this with bean barks. Really good. Don't cost anything to run either, old man. Just inflate the tyres every so often. <laughs> oh, there's another hill. Oh, I've got momentum for this one. Whoa. Hey. Well, that was quite an experience there, wasn't it, on those? It was quite difficult to do. I kept knocking my knees on them. Yeah, I did as well. Like, <laughs> imagine me being taller on my knees oh, as well. no, it's not good. But we did get the momentum going. We did, yeah. It's just starting off that takes a yeah, while on there. There it is, but I worry about my knees. <laughs> yeah, you got loads of little rides around here for the kids as well. Like you can sit on a fox and a rabbit just over here. Or also, sit in a duck if you want to as well. Hey up, duck. Just thought we'd have a lap round on the cycle monorail here now. Well, this is another one though, instead of it going around like loads of the park, it's very compact. It makes me think when these rides were designed, especially both of these monorails, that you know, the park was probably pretty small back then. You know, they just had the little Zero Tivoli, which was the first coaster down here. And yeah, it wasn't really planned for massive expansion, you know, hence why these take up quite a small space for them really. They've grown and expanded so much over the years with bigger rides. Yeah, look, look at this, we're just going back and forwards. Yeah, back and forwards all the way around. That's why I'm not going too fast, you see. Taking it easy, nice and relaxing. <laughs> Funny that bikes, aren't they? Oh, we had nice relaxing pedal round just there. And yeah, as you can see, you've got this lovely building here, which is pretty stunning. All the nice flowers on there. And yeah, you've got these little ladders just here too. And I think if you go up these ladders, you can see somebody in the window. I think somebody says hello to you. If you go up, I believe. Here we go. Who's this? Hello. Schlag muss blechle. Was <laughs> will denn du ausgestopft nach dem Dauer bei uns am Haus rum Krebsle? And what's your also favorite ride? Die oh. Hemmer früher im Sauerkraut fressen. <laughs> also mach einen Satz, bevor es Spanisch und die mein holziger Blitz trifft. See you later. I don't know what he's saying, but we'll come down this way. See if anybody sees you, Charlotte. It's a nice way of teaching kids of how to climb a ladder, though, isn't it, really? There you go. Well, Charlotte goes and someone will say hello to you. That's it. Oh, you got a lady. Oh, oh I can see it, yeah. Oh, here's the well, full of babies. Oh. <laughs> Pull the different strings and a different baby comes up out of the well. Don't have a clue what's going on. Anybody coming up? Oh. Oh. That's enough to give you nightmares. See you later. I do love all these quirky parts of a park. You gotta keep spinning it, that's it. Oh. And we get some activity over it. Oh, keep it going and they'll all come alive for us here. Here they are. All the nice birds. Oh, they're gonna play us a song. Here we go. Wonderful. <laughs> Keep it going. La 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 la. Joy at home, everybody. Clap your hands, wave your arms in the air. La 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 la. La la la. La la la. <laughs> Now, of course, Trip Trail is full of culture. You've got all sorts to see, including this lovely scene just over here as well. I'm not too sure what is going on, but there we go. They're having a great time. <laughs> I think we'll leave them to it. Lots of really nice planting all around in this part of the park as well. And so much to see, it's really nice. You wouldn't even think at this park 
you were in a theme park. Yeah, it's like a country park, country estate that you're walking around with a selection of rides. Yeah, it's very beautiful, very authentic Germany. And up next, we're going to have one of these little bow rides. Looks like the rain could be coming in again. Oh, yeah, let's give this a ride. Luckily, everything's been walk on for us today. We've got loads of rides in, so we've got plenty of time for re rides this afternoon as well. Yeah, they got a couple of these. I took my waterproof trousers off, just. I should have I put told them back you. on. I didn't even see them. <laughs> Literally took them off, it's throwing it down again now. Oh, yeah. Poncho's coming out. <laughs> hey, on these barrels. Yeah, you kind of expect them to spin around like really fast, but the dome, you know, it's just like, what are you doing? <laughs> Yourself. Oh, it's heavy now. Oh, we came no. on this at the wrong time, Charlotte. Oh, it literally started as soon as we sat down as well. <laughs> Quite a long ride as well, this oh. is. <laughs> that's it, cover up my legs. There oh, we go. Yeah, that's that's it, share it, share it together. That's it, that's good. What is that? We got some scarecrows over here. And we got Mr. Funshine. That full Pleasure Beach. We will get another visit into Pleasure Beach for the end of the season. We have still got oh. another few vlogs left of the trip. We spin round. A bit like a calmer version of the Tarly and Tub Twist at Joyland. <laughs> right, round, round, round. Hey, sunshine. Yeah, we've actually got a bonus park of the trip coming up tomorrow. Yeah, originally we were doing 16 parks this trip, but we're doing 18 now. We've got a couple of additions because we thought, why not? We've got a couple of spare days that we planned in um, because, yeah, we thought, well, we'll just have a rest, but actually we're going to carry on, aren't we? Yeah, we're off to, keep off to, on hey, We're off to Holiday Park tomorrow now. Bit of a, an addition, it wasn't in the original announcement. So that'll be coming up tomorrow for you all. <laughs> quite a long ride. It is. Everything's quite long in this part, to be honest. You get good cycles it's on the like flat. we're going through someone's allotment. Yeah, it's quite nice, isn't it? It's like a winery, I think. That's the idea, oh. like a vineyard, I think. You need to get them waterproof trousers back on. Yeah, I will. I'll put them on after this. <laughs> <laughs> Go right there on the spinning barrels. Now, don't forget, if you are visiting Tripstrill and you want a free souvenir glass, come down here to the winery at the back of the park. That is fantastic. Look at that glass, it's so cute. Yeah, you get a choice between this one and there's another one that's more like a shop glass, really. Um, yeah, it's a little winery they've got down here. And with your park ticket, you just scan it and uh, they'll give you a glass per park ticket, free of charge included. Look at that, you've got quite a few rides on there. Aww. What a nice little gesture that is, isn't it? That is really good, that is. And then you can go downstairs and uh, yeah, you've got all sorts of wine that you can taste. And yeah, they were like two euros, 50, three euros, and you can use your glass to fill them up down there. So yeah, it's quite a nice little gesture actually that they give these out. They've been doing this since I first came. We yeah, it's in this little building down at the back of the park. And if it's raining like it is now, it's a good place to come and chill. Oh, it's start raining now, which is good. And yeah, this is what the building looks like just over here. If you are visiting and thinking, oh, where did Sean and Charlotte get them glasses? Literally here. You make your way in through them doors. Yeah, it's literally right behind the bow ride just down there. And in these lovely little buildings, you've got some work going on over here too. Yeah, I do like how they've got all these different scenes with animatronics. And yeah, a little bit of information just over there on the right. Looks like all the years that the wine was made, maybe, in these barrels? I'm only guessing, though. The people that are in this park love water features as well, which is why I love it here even more. And look at the size of that one. I definitely wouldn't be able to pick up that pumpkin. No chance. These are crazy, like, amazing. This is a nice display. And look at all the pumpkins. They're actually all different varieties. At first glance, you think, whoa, overload of pumpkins. It tells you, like, where they're from. That's, like, from Japan, USA. Yeah, so they must just grow them all here for like pumpkins around the world. How amazing is that? That spotty one, that's for America down there. And these big long ones that I like, some of them are from the USA down there. Alaska off to the right, pumpkins from around the world. What an amazing display of pumpkins. This is incredible seeing all these. Paraguay, a lot of them say USA on. Around here at the back of the park now. And you got the little kitty log plume ride. Hey, I like how you just walk right up to the ride area. Just here. <laughs> I love how I just trust in the eye here. It's very nice. Boats are cute on this, aren't they? Oh, and the water's just been turned on. I did think, oh, why is the water not coming down? There you go. Now in action. I see, because people are going on, they turn the water on. Just probably just saves an energy cost when no one's using the attraction. I've always really liked this attraction that we're heading on now. It's not one of these track rides. You know what's cool about this? It's like soapbox derby racing. And also, it's a trackless ride system. Yeah, it's very clever. Like all built and hidden underneath here. Yeah, it's really cool this is. Let's go on. And off we go. <laughs> that thing is awesome. 
Oh, how this is designed, really nice. <laughs> we just fit in, all right? Uh, you know, I mean, yeah, my um, my restraint won't come across, but it don't matter. I like the trust him. I like it. Turn the wheel. I think it's awesome how all the actual well, tracks are hidden away. Really nice. You're doing better than me. <laughs> I'm on sticks. I can't move my arms. <laughs> oh, there's the goat just over there. Oh, little baby goat there as well. Really nice. Yeah, we've still got a few more attractions to see down here. At Tripstrill in Germany. Great to get back to this park. And yeah, we'll do some re-rides as well. Make the most of it with it being quiet. There she is, soapbox number 19. I've got no room in this whatsoever. <laughs> but I'm going to beat you. You are going to beat me. <laughs> hey. Really good little family ride that is. And yeah, I did struggle to get in though, but uh, we managed in the end. Yeah, enjoy that there, Charlotte. I couldn't even fit on the seat and it got dispatched. I hadn't even sat down. <laughs> oh, it's all right. It doesn't matter, does it? A little track family ride. Anyway, the history of this park started with this very windmill over here. And yeah, it's actually a slide inside. Yeah, I believe this was like the first attraction here at Tripstrills. Yeah, let's go in. Yeah, you got all these photos here. Shows people sat on the top of the windmill, look, just there. And yeah, everybody came. Oh, it looks a bit to drink wine and go on this. There's some old photos of the park and kind of how it's developed over the years as well. Amazing. That's how it kind of all started. Really nice. You've got a timeline of all the history down here at the side, all the rides they've put in. Yeah, this is how it started with this very slide. I love it when the park is proud and celebrates the history. So what have we got here? People coming off the slide in 1929 there. That looks like possibly the building prior to that. Yeah, amazing to see. Yeah, let's go on it. Here we go, I'm all set up here on the slide, just waiting for it to go green now. Charlotte, wish me luck. Good luck. See you later. Ooh. Hey, oh! <laughs> ah! Hey! Fresh delivery. Here she comes, hey! <laughs> oh, he's good. <laughs> you enjoy that? Yeah. That's how the park's going. Oh it's worth a re-ride. Oh, oh, back at the top end of the windmill, quite a lot of stairs. Are you ready, Charlotte? I'm ready. See you later, Charlotte. <laughs> hey! <laughs> She's screaming. That slide is so much fun. In fact, that's how the park started. It's amazing. I love how it's still an attraction here. Oh, look at how far they've come with the ride like Howl's Uber car. Oh, we've got the wonderful fish. Just down here as well. How was the slide for you? That was crazy, that was. I forgot how good that was. Worth a re-ride on that, oh, isn't it? Let's go straight back. Right? Yeah, definitely made the most of it. Oh, look at the fish. Go wash your fingers. Yeah. <laughs> right, getting bitten off. Yeah, they have got a little boating lake just over here. Nobody wants to go on it, though, because, yeah, the weather is pretty grim again this afternoon. We have done most of the attractions here at Trips Trail, so, yeah, just going to get some re-rides in. Do these coasters again down here. Yeah, we've got another one of them spinning barrel rides to do, and, yeah, check out any more quirky parts of this park. Love it here, great to be back. Hey, back in the station now for Hal Zubakov. There goes the family boomerang. That is awesome, what an interaction. Right above the station for the coaster, I think that's great. And yeah, obviously it has got a big hole in the roof where the track goes through. You might be thinking, surely this station is soaked. Very well designed. It's actually got another roof on that part just there. And that's catching the rainwater and draining it out of the building. So that's really cool, that is. Another awesome ride on the Vekoma suspended thrill coaster. And yeah, it looks stunning now, doesn't it, with this building? They've done such a good job. And yeah, they really do build things very high quality here. Even like all the details on the train design, it is lovely. What's not lovely is the weather this afternoon. We just got pretty wet down on the back row. But yeah, it's riding so much better than it was three years ago. That's always the case though with coasters. They do take a while to warm up sometimes. And yeah, that was really good. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. 
yeah, the suspended thrill coaster, certainly a mod I'd like to see more of installed. And yeah, like I said, there's one coming to Ireland next year. Oh, he's had another ride here on the family boomerang, Voldamp as well. And yeah, it's great when you buy the package together from Vacoma because you save money on supports, don't you? Like, look at these. Hey, really good fun down there at the back. I like the re-rider policy as well. Nobody waiting, you can stay in your seat. We're back down here now on the entrance street to the park. Oh, we've got this very unique little flat ride down at the bottom where you go up in a little basket. See how we'll go on this. And here we go, lift it up. Here you go, another small little basket ride down there as well. You get to appreciate all these lovely buildings down here at the entrance. And yeah, the two Vacoma coasters really complement this park really nicely. Like your main entrance street just there. Look at this, nice and scenic. Got some sheep down there as well. I thought they were statues at first, but they're real sheep. They are. I'm trying to think what this lever actually does. Oh, it does take it off. Yeah, it does. Yeah, oh. <laughs> it controls it. Yeah. It's quite nice. The big though, sheep are. Yeah, they are. More pumpkins coming out over there to see more fresh pumpkins. Yeah, aren't these buildings gorgeous? I love German buildings, I really do. Oh, whether in theme parks or when we drive into the parks. One of my favourite countries, always really nice and scenic. Yeah, lovely. Well, it is coming towards the end of our vlog here from Tripstrill. I think we've got a bit of time to get some more re-rides in and also it's got one more of these spinning barrel rides to get on just around here. So we'll give it a go. It's a lovely quaint German park. I definitely recommend coming here. And it's a couple of hours away from Europa Park. So if you're driving over or hiring a car, plan a day to come here. You won't regret it. It is a really nice family owned, family friendly theme park. Hey, and there we go for a bit of a spin round. Now I've took the waterproof trousers off again and now there's black clouds what coming. What a risk! Oh no, I can't believe it. Well I've not took the poncho off, I wasn't <laughs> taking that risk. You just uh, kept mm. it on just there. Yeah, this one is a bit better actually than the other one. It's got a roof as well, so if it is raining... You're okay. It's alright, I just find these really fun and quirky. I mean they're not quite as unique as the Tarleyan Tub Twist back at Joyland, but you know, it's something that modern kind of style, isn't it? Wee. Nice, it takes you around the gardens here. You've got some wooden pumpkins and a dancing sweet corn there as well. Oh. I love the wooden pumpkins. Yeah, right in the middle, it's just quite a fun little ride. Yeah, all the buildings are oh, so nice. Always love coming over here to Germany. But yeah, we're just going to get a few more re rides in now. And then we'll head to the exit and wrap up today's vlog from Tripstrill. And what a great day it's been. Hey! <laughs> We just had some more re-rides, making the most of a very quiet day here at Tripstrill. We've not been for three years and I've really enjoyed getting back here today. It's been so nice getting back and we have done so many rides and some of the rides we didn't do last time. Yeah, it's been great. We've really enjoyed it. There's some really good quirky attractions here. But overall, it's just a nice family park. It's got a really relaxed vibe here. You have got the six roller coasters, but it's just the vibe of the park that is really nice. And yeah, in terms of Hell's Uber Cough, I'm really pleased that that was riding better than from what we remember. That looks fantastic fantastic now with all the theming finished as well. Yeah, I love the interaction between those two Vacoma coasters. And uh, yeah, overall it looks really nice. We did notice a bit of construction going on behind it again. So maybe they're planning a new edition. Now, I did notice on the map, it says something is coming in 2024. So I'll have to see what happens. But we'll definitely come back in the future and we always enjoy it here. Uh, thanks to the park for having us. And of course, allowing us to film on ride. Normally you can't, uh, but yeah, it's been really nice to get lots of on ride footage here. And uh, yeah, it's always great when we can take you on ride. And here's some of my other favorites, Karachow, if that's how you say it, that's really good. The Gerstler bobsleigh uh, with the log flume going through it. I really enjoyed that. The wooden coast is my least favorite out of the big rides it here. It just doesn't ride that well, unfortunately. Yeah, it's a shame. I really appreciate how they stuck to like local uh, kind of German manufacturers for it I think that's a really nice touch but it just doesn't ride that good unfortunately uh, the slide was really good fun as well the rapids we had a good laugh on there and just overall it's a nice part relaxed vibe and uh, yeah it's definitely worth making a trip to here to Tripstrill don't forget they have also got a wildlife park 
which is just a little bit over the road. Uh, it's well worth going to. Uh, we're not doing it this time. We've done it in the past uh, and we're driving it a bit tonight. But uh, yeah, it is well worth going to uh, if you are uh, visiting this park and like seeing the animals as well. But yeah, like I say, next up, we've got Holiday Park, uh, also here in Germany. It's our final German park of the trip. We weren't going to be going, but we thought, we know what, let's add it in. We've Why got not? a plot to annual pass as well. Expedition G-Force is there. Uh, so let's go and add that in instead of just having a chill day. We may as well. Uh, well, thanks for joining us here from Trips Trill. And that leaves me one final thing to say. Get out there and keep on riding. We'll see you at Holiday Park.